We do want to introduce our first comic, who is a 29-year-old man. He is one of four brothers, very important, four brothers. Uh, he's aspiring to be a professional voice actor. He still lives with his parents, and he's single. So, ladies, everyone, please welcome Chad Patterson. Holy shit. <laughs> this shit's so scary, man. I feel like I had to, I have to pee, but I just pee. So what's that about? I'm standing still, my, my like shirt's moving, because it's like... <laughs> <sighs> All right. Uh, well, he mentioned I was 29, uh, so that means I'm turning 30 this year. So, you know, I waited this long to do this stuff. <laughs> Like, smart move on my part, right? Uh, but there's shit going on in 2018 that I don't know, I don't know why it would ever happen in my lifetime, you know? Like Kobe Bryant stopped playing basketball and he, uh, he won an Oscar. Yeah. What's that about? <laughs> and Leonardo DiCaprio has one too, so apparently all you need to do is lose to Grizzlies and you got, you got an Academy Award there. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. And then uh, Chester Cheetos running the country now. <laughs> so, apparently the country is now... <laughs> <laughs> Outrageously, dangerously cheesy. <laughs> What's going on? Uh, yeah, dude, this shit's hard. Wow. Uh, where was I going with that? Uh, oh, that's right. Okay. Uh, the uh, apparently no one can eat gluten anymore. That thing going on. Uh, and uh, there's like they're making milk out of everything. There's, and I would know because I worked in a coffee shop, right? So, you know, I'm standing there making my lattes, earning my keep, $13 an hour, that's right. Give me money bags back here. I can support you and me, that's right. Hand out the latte. Oh, how'd you do the design on the, on the cup there? That's how great, oh my god, you're some sort of milk magician here. This is incredible. Well, I'm making your shit every morning, so <laughs> that's what's going on. It's amazing how, how many people are frequent to coffee shops and like they spend six bucks a day on that. Like you, if you think about that, it's kind of scary. Not as scary as this shit though. So. Uh, but I think coffee shops are like the front lines of like what's going on nowadays. You kind of see what the hell people are doing now? This lady walked in the other day with a bird on her shoulder. Just brought it in with her. I was like, oh, whoops, that belongs outside. <laughs> what, what are you doing now? Things got wings. <laughs> but of course, you know, I, I'm, I'm in the apron with a name tag, so I'm like, excuse me, miss. <laughs> Who's our old friend here? <laughs> Get that fucking thing out of here. <laughs> shit on her shoulder and like yeah well <laughs> you know what it's my emotional support bird so it's fine. <laughs> we we can do this now it's so so this is so this is okay oh 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 so it's okay now you're you're not okay but this is okay this whole ensemble here with Tweety Bird and people, people want to travel with these things. There was an instance where a lady tried to bring a peacock on the plane with her. Pebbles the hamster, R.I.P. <laughs> didn't make it, didn't make it. Uh, but pretty soon, Samuel Jackson's gonna be on a plane like, you mean to tell me there's actually motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking plane? <laughs> So, 
So I think the whole the whole concept of emotional support animals, uh, I, I get it, and I would I would want to you know I would want to talk I would want to talk to it if I had it you know you just talk to a dog like yeah hi buddy and it just like wags its tail and loves you no matter what. But if I had an animal, I'd want to talk to it. So I'd, I think but the parrot is the way to go. Yeah. So, I mean, it's kind of a one-way conversation. <laughs> a little bit. And then they pick up phrases that don't always match the situation you're in, though. So that could, that could make something like ordering at a drive-thru very difficult. And you roll up to the drive-thru, and you're, you're kind of expecting, you know, yeah. Uh, what was that? Uh huh. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 No, just a number nine. We're at 69. <laughs> no. Could you, what did you ask me, sir? Would you like a new opinion or would you like a new opinion? Yeah, yes. Yes. <laughs> and then uh, I'll take, uh, you know, just two, two tacos as well. <laughs> Pink taco. No, okay, no. No, no, no. Okay. Okay, it's okay. Would you like to have fun with for a very little world? Still, uh, yeah, you know what, I'll take two of those. And, uh, in a large, uh, we'll take the Coke with the, the, number, the, the number nine. Okay, this Pepsi, okay, sir? Yeah, Pepsi's fine. That's perfectly fine. Okay, your total is 2937, please, thank you. 2937? What, what just happened? It's going to be very expensive to own this bird who just blurts out stuff while you're trying to, you know, live your life. And the crazy thing is, this kind of shit just becomes normal, and we just like, well, that's how it is now. And you can't say anything because then you're like insensitive. Like, no, okay. Yeah, it may be a giraffe, but that's fine, okay? It supports me emotionally. <laughs> well, how is that even happening? And these things become the norm, so that you know they're going to see probably entrances and exits being all like modified for this stuff, just like how we have all gender restrooms now. So that's a thing. And uh, have you ever seen a kid try to? Navigate this situation. I'm just like, oh, mommy, I gotta go pee. Like, just, just go, man. You gotta go. There's a restroom. Um, which one though? Like, well, just pick, pick one. They're, you know, like, I don't get it. What does it mean? <laughs> well, that one's for mommies and daddies, and mommy dads and daddy moms. So <laughs> we're all just kind of figuring it all out together. <laughs> and I just feel bad for the women in this case because men yes. make a mess. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> like, what? what happened in there? And then you get out and there's a woman waiting and you gotta be like, the guy before me, <laughs> this guy, <laughs> I don't know what he had down there, where the plumbing was, but... No. <laughs> but I am, you know what, I am thankful. I am thankful, you know, those days where I just... <laughs> I just... I just need a place to find my center again. <laughs> take a seat, take a load off, and just... Nothing's fitting right. And I just, you know, I just need to regroup. And so I just take a seat and just whatever. You know, look in the mirror, what are these eyebrows doing? Oh my gosh. Do these pants make my ass look big? I don't know. <laughs> that ass, though. 
Badass, though, that's right. All right, that's it. Good luck.